Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on Vyond. Now, this was also a day of many firsts for India's space research organization, where the agency launched its heaviest rocket so far. A total of 36 broadband communication satellites were put into orbit. The rocket that launched these satellites is Mark III. It was a maiden commercial mission of this kind. The rocket took off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, and it has successfully put 36 satellites into orbit of a British-based firm. Now, the rocket is said to be about 43.5 meters tall, and it weighed a staggering 644 tons. The LVM-3 is a commercial satellite mission overseen by the Central Public Sector Enterprise, and the mission was a joint collaboration between the New Space India Limited and OneWeb. Now, interestingly, OneWeb is a joint venture between Bharti Enterprises and the British government. At this moment, uh, let me tell you that 16 have been separated very safely as we expected, and the remaining 20 satellites will be separating when we are not able to see it from this place. The data will come a little later, and uh, the mission operations of observing this separation is continuing. This mission is a historic mission primarily because this is the very second operational mission of LVM-3 that has gone commercial. And this is an opportunity that LVM-3 is able to do such a wonderful mission. And we are very hopeful that the next mission of LVM-3 will do the same to place the remaining 36 satellites that it has been contracted with NSIL for the next launch of LVM-3 M3 mission. What are the advantages of launching from India and how much money is being pumped into the Indian space sector with the two launches you signed up for? Well, this is an order of over a thousand crores, which is being paid to NCIL and uh, for these two uh, launches. I think this is just the start of many more launches that uh, will happen from Indian soil. I think India will open up uh, tonight to world's uh, commercial space. And uh, I expect many more companies coming to India to get their uh, payload launch from uh, Indian soil. Now, putting it on the jewel in Isra Isra's crown, the launch, of course, granted the LVM-3 an entry into the global commercial launch service market. Earlier, the OneWeb satellites had been launched by Russian rockets. Now, Moscow has had a pretty dominant presence in space for a long time now. With New Delhi making its debut, experts are now keenly watching for what's next in store. And also, Israel, Israel's chairman spoke about the upcoming five launches. Listen to what he had to say. Uh, this year, year means for us it is a financial year. So we look at uh, the next launch of uh, LVM3 for one web, uh, beginning of uh, January, Feb, uh, that we are trying to do. We also have to do the SSLV mission, which is uh, the repeat of what we did last time after making the corrections for the failure that we had. Then we are now getting ready for a launch of PSLV, possibly this November end, uh, having Oceansat and uh, uh, Putansat on board along with the uh, four customer satellites. Uh, then we need to do the GSLV launch, uh, the Mark II version, which we call, now it, I don't call it Mark II, it's just GSLV. Uh, with uh, the Navix satellite, which is the next generation Navix, uh, which are getting ready, five of them are there, the first of them, the one which has to go. Then maybe end of uh, this year, go for Aditya L1 if possible, if you get time, slot, etc. And also our correspondent Siddharth MP was at the Sri Harikota site at the time when the rocket lifted off and this is the report that he has sent us. Listen. What we are about to witness is history unfolding. We are here at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota as the GSLV Mark III rocket, the biggest and the most heaviest rocket that's built in India, is lifting off right behind us as we speak. You can see the brilliant flame, the majestic orange blaze that's lighting up the midnight sky here in Sri Harikota at Satish Dhawan Space Center. You can also hear the characteristic boom of the S200 motors, that is solid fuel that is burning nearly 400 tons of solid fuel that is burning as we speak, majestically lighting up the night skies here. This launch is very, very special for India because this marks the entry of India into the heavy lift rocketry club. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.